everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with our next YouTube mini class. As you can see, I'm still in Mr. SMS's office and the walls are still pretty white. <laughs> I guess he's not much of a decorator. <laughs> We're trying to find me a home, but until then, they just move me and my table and my camera wherever I'm going to fit for the day. <laughs> now, today in YouTube number 116, we are going to be showing you the precision plate by Sizzix. And yes, this precision plate will work with both your Big Shot machine or your Big Kick machine or your Vagabond machine and it will work with the new Big Shot Plus machine if you have gone ahead and already pre-ordered yours. And if you haven't pre-ordered your Big Shot Plus machine, you're going to want to pre-order that Big Shot Plus machine. Those are expected somewhere around April 15th and we've got a terrific sale on them. But I want to show you this precision plate because there's a lot of plates on the market that are supposed to help with your wafer dies. And I'm sure they all do. They just didn't do it quite to the level I had hoped for. And even when Sizzix showed me this way back last year and David came in and he said, here it is, I gave him a challenge and I said, you need to be able to do this. If it will cut this, then I think we've got a good, oh, somebody, oh, fire engine just went by. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, if it will cut a, if it will cut this, then I think that it's well worth it. And lo and behold, it does just what they said it was going to do. So I'm going to show you the precision plate. We're going to be working with both the regular Big Shot and the Big Shot Plus. This is going to be a challenge. I've got a, I've got a machine on both sides of me. <laughs> uh, so I also want to tell you that the transfer pads that we've been pre-ordered and have you pre-ordered are still on a current ship arrival date of around the 15th of March to Scrapbooking Made Simple. That's getting relatively close and we're talking to Ellison Sizzix every single day and we are still on target for that. So those of you who have pre-ordered and already paid for those, thank you. <laughs> as soon as they arrive, we're going to start shipping out your orders. For those of you who chose to do a pay it later, which is something that I think only Scrapbooking Made Simple offers. I don't know any other website that lets you do a pay it now where you can charge your credit card right now or a pay it later where when it gets closer to the time we'll send you an invoice and you can pay for it then because um, I know we've always had that with our old system that that it would allow you you know by the time we got to charging your order it was substantially later than the date you actually placed it so we didn't want to take that feature away from some people because there are people who want to take advantage of the sale price right now but know that they may not have the money for a week or two while there are others who have the money right now but don't know if they'll have it in a week or two. So we put both payment options on our website to try and help as many of you out there, those who want to pay it right now and those who need a little bit more time, but now's the time. We're going to start sending invoices for those who have chose a pay it later for some of this product. Now, if you've ordered the Big Shot Plus machine and the Sizzix transfer sheets and the foils, we are not going to hold the order for the Plus machine. We're going to go ahead and send you out your transfer pad, your foils, your cutting plates, and when the Big Shot machine comes in, then we'll send that separately. We're not going to hold the orders until mid-April because if the product's here, let's just get it to you, especially since they work with both the Big Shot, the Big Kick, and the Vagabond and the Big Shot Plus. So you could be playing with it for a whole month before your Big Shot Plus ever gets to you. So if you are pay it later, just know we're going to be starting to send those invoices. And once those are paid, you have, well, once they're sent, you have three days to pay that invoice. And then we will marry all the orders together and send them on up to be fulfilled just as soon as those products get here. And if they get here on the 15th, you got to understand it's going to take us probably three days to unpack all the boxes, count all the inventory to get it ready to fulfill. So just because we get it on the 15th doesn't mean we can ship everything on the 15th. Once we get it, then we will unpack everything, take a full inventory of everything, make sure we got everything we ordered. We always do. Ellison's awesome about that. And then we will start fulfilling the orders. So I'm really excited. I think you're going to love what you see today. I, I am so happy with the precision plate and I'm going to tell you why. But first we have winner winner chicken dinner 
and I want to tell you about my nails. See my nails? They're purple. I get a lot of comments that people love my nails. Thank you, but I don't do them. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Okay, if you live in Santa Clarita or Canyon Country, New Hall, Valencia, it's all considered Santa Clarita. If you live in Acton or in Aqua Dulce or Castaic, I get my nails done at Beth's Nails. It's on Soledad Canyon Road and it's right by the new Viarta, um, no, no, it's by the Everest, uh, Everest restaurant by IHOP. It's about two blocks away from my shop and it's Beth's Nails, so the name Beth and Nails. They're here in Santa Clarita. Jonathan did my nails this time, but everybody there is wonderful. There's there's Tracy and Jonathan and Van and Sydney and Tom and Dan. They're all amazing people and they do a beautiful job. So thank you for complimenting me on my nails, but it was Jonathan this time <laughs> who really deserves all the credit. Now, don't everybody go there at once or I won't be able to get my spot. <laughs> I probably should have booked my 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 nail appointment all the way through the end of the year because I know now they're going to get slammed with people but it's a great little business they're a great little mom and pop shop and um, really good people so anyway I also have winner winner chicken dinner and if you are ready this is from YouTube number 115 where we did the chameleon pins and the stamp pendus. Uh, the dies and the matching stamps and the pop-ups and you're going to get a nice little assortment of goodies from Scrapbooking Made Simple. If you are Mona Bellon. Mona Bellon, congratulations. I hope you enjoy what we have for you. And if you are Kathy with a C, Feli? Feli? F-E-L-I. Kathy with a C, F-E-L-I, you two are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So how are you gonna claim your prizes after you're done going, ah, it was me, it was me. <laughs> so once you've stopped going, okay, come look, at she said my name. <laughs> once you've finished that, you're gonna email us at asksms at earthlink.net. You're going to say, I am a winner, winner, chicken dinner for YouTube number 115. Please give us your name, your address, and your telephone number, and we will get those prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. Now, do you want to win a really great prize from Scrapbooking Made Simple? Of course you do. Who doesn't? <laughs> All you have to do is watch the video, and then at the end, go post a comment. Any comment, as long as it's polite, kind, nice, you know, b inspiring, whatever. Just tell me about the weather. I'm sorry, it's gonna be 80 degrees here today. I know, Boston, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Just tell me about your weather. Tell me how long you've been snowed in. You can post anything you want. They all qualify to be chosen for a prize. And we do have a software that chooses that. And yes, international peeps are welcome to also put their comments. We, we send, if, you, if we can send you a package, you can win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I am going to get started for today. And I'm gonna tilt down and show you the precision, the precision plate <laughs> to begin with. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about it before we actually start to cut. All right, so down we go. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil if you need to. Put me on pause. No, <laughs> put me on pause. Grab a piece of paper, pencil, and we're gonna get started. Bye. Okay, so there we have it. The precision cutting plate from Ellison Sizzix, from Sizzix. It's a Sizzix product. And just so you know, Ellison is the parent company of Sizzix and Sizzix is the brand. So when I call them, they don't answer the phone Sizzix, they answer the phone Ellison, but the brand is Sizzix. Now, this is a, uh, it's a heavy duty plate. It's really heavy duty, it does not bend. And it's made out of something, I don't remember if it says what it's made out of, but I'm gonna try and kind of explain it to you the best way I can. I was in the jewelry business for a very long time before I started in the crafting business, and that's where my education actually is. It's in the jewelry industry. I'm a graduate gemologist, and I went through I went through lots of, you know, jewelry manufacturing arts, a whole bunch of stuff. But, um, and then I came into the craft industry. But I never thought my jewelry knowledge would actually help me understand about this plate, and it totally did. 
Now, in jewelry, diamonds, diamonds are the hardest thing there is. Uh, actually, on the world, in the world, diamonds have a really hard, hard, uh, uh, density. The, the Mohs scale puts it as a number 10, which means the only thing that can scratch a diamond is another diamond. And so it's number 10 on the Mohs scale. And then, and then things go down underneath it. So you can imagine chalk would be like a number one because anything will scratch chalk, whereas a diamond is number 10. Only another diamond can scratch a diamond, which is why they use diamond. They embed diamond into a lathe to actually cut a diamond. This helped me understand more about this plate because this plate, when you use it, the die sits, you're gonna take your paper, we're gonna be using shimmer shade. Ooh, look at it, it has a reflection, you can see my camera. We can use, well, maybe I'll use something black so you, it's not so bad, there we go. So we're going to take something, paper, this is a velvet sheet, shimmer sheet, and we're going to place the die directly on top of the, the dark side of the plate, not the side that gives you the directions, on the dark side. And what happens is that when you send it through, that die, it may leave a little bit of a etch, but it does not cut into this plate. It just doesn't. And that's because this plate has a hardness that is higher than the metal of the die. So this plate will never, the die will never cut all the way into it as if it were your cutting pad, your cutting pad that you generally use. It will cut into it because the die is harder than the cutting pad. But with this plate, it is heavy, it is substantial, it is used in place of one of your cutting pads and it doesn't warp there would be a big key for me, which is why we've never ever sold a shim for wafer dies because none of them have ever done exactly what I want them to do consistently without eventually just warping all to heck. This is not gonna warp and that's because they used a material that is harder than the actual metal of the die and they have made it substantially thick so that it is going to withstand cut after cut after cut after cut and it's going to stay just as flat as it is now. Now what you need to know is you're never going to use this with a steel rule die. That's not what this plate is for. This plate is for your wafer dies, your chemically etched dies, the really thin ones, your memory box, your thinlets, your framelits, your um, spell binders, your X cuts, your Kaiser Craft dies. Kaiser Craft die? Yes, Kaiser Craft has new dies, and that's what we're going to be working with today. But for those of you out there who cut wafer dies, who want a platform that's going to stand the test of time, that's what Sizzix did. They didn't rush to the market with this. They waited. They waited until they had it right. And I saw this plate last year, and I said to David, I said, yeah, that's nice. It's just another, it's just another wafer plate. And he said, no, it's more than that. And I said, okay, show me. And I was kind of sold, but then I pulled out shimmer sheets. And I said, if it will cut this, we will buy it. Well, he, I gave him shimmer sheets to take back to Ellison and they worked on it and they tweaked it. And lo and behold, it cuts shimmer sheets with a wafer die beautifully. So that's what I'm going to show you today. But the, 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 the thought behind it, how it works so well, is that they were able to use a material that has a hardness greater than the die itself. And that is why it's not going to warp. That's why it's not going to cut into the plate. You're never going to see all those little lines from cutting the die. It's never going to like grab into that plate. And, and that's what keeps it from warping. It is a great tool. And they kept the price affordable. It's a $19.99 tool. We have it on pre-order right now for $15.99. If you do wafer dies, I think this is the best shim, the best 
cutting pad for wafer dies currently on the market. And I feel confident in saying that because I've used them all. And I wasn't even sold on this one to begin with. I had to be shown and I had to give them a test and see if they could, if it would rise to the challenge and it did. And you know I'm picky. <laughs> So we're gonna cut with it, we're gonna play with it, and I am gonna use both machines. I want you to see that it will work with your Big Shot machine and it will work with your Big Shot Plus machine. I will tell you, it does work better with a Big Shot Plus machine for some materials, without question. But I think you're gonna be happy regardless, no matter what. Now I have got some beautiful dies here we're gonna be playing with. Kaiser Craft has brought out a whole new line of dies they're absolutely gorgeous. They're cost effective. I love that they have gone ahead and given you the magnet so you can store, store your die right on the magnet sheet. So when you get your packaging, do not, do not just throw, pull the die out and throw this away because you don't know that that ma magnet sheet is in there. Open it up, take that magnet sheet out. And heck, if you've got another storage system, that's okay. Take that magnet, put some soup wing on it, put some paper on it, take your Tim Holtz steel rule dies and make some magnets for your refrigerator. Don't throw it away, it's, it's got a value, it's got a use. <laughs> so we're gonna be playing with these today and I am gonna get started. I wanna show you first what happens if I cut this um, without necessarily, without the, the, the a precision pad in a Big Shot machine. So I'm going to pull over my Big Shot machine. Well, I think I'm going to do it in the Big Shot Plus because I'm missing a plate. So let me pull over my Big Shot Plus machine because I've got all my plates here. And this is the new Big Shot Plus machine. It is now nine inches wide. So you're gonna be able to do all your eight and a half by 11 embossing folders that are coming out. You're gonna be able to do all your Spellbinder Grand dies that you currently own. We've got new eight by eight embossing folders in. We, I mean, this just opens up a whole world to you. It absolutely comes with everything you're gonna to need to get started. It comes with your base plate. It comes with your A and your B shim, which allow you to do wafer dies, or it allows you to do your embossing folders, and they give you instructions right on the front. But of course, it's a big shot machine, so you know that if for some reason it doesn't go through, you just take off one of the shims. They make it so easy so that nothing gets stuck in there, nothing gets, um, uh, you can't roll it through if it's too thick. That's the awesome thing. And if you roll it through and it's too easy and it doesn't cut anything, then you know you need to add one more shim. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a piece of my shimmer sheet. And I'm gonna give a cut just so I have one. And I am using my my platforms all together. I've got the base platform, the A and the B shim, all right on top. I am going to take one of my mats that my cutting plates that cut it uh, that come with it. Actually, I guess I could use my do not cut plate since I'll go face up. So I've got my do not. This is my watermelon do not cut plate. I'm going to put my die down, and then I'm going to put my shimmer sheet right on top. And I'm doing it this way because I don't have a magnetic platform. I'm not using the magnetic platform. In the smaller machine, I'll use the magnetic platform and the sandwich is reversed. I would actually put my die this way. But since we're using the Big Shot Plus, I'm cutting face up. Put another cut plate on and I'm gonna send it on through. So I've got my little handle here. I want you to hear, I'm not sure if it's gonna make the noise it made before because I want you to really hear it. Oh, not so bad. No, I'll do another one that really is awful. <laughs> it sounds, oh, it just sounded like the machine was grinding to a halt, but it wasn't. Okay. Okay, so I've cut it. The problem is it did not cut all the way through. That's using it without the precision. It left the lines of the die in there and I could take a scissor and fussy cut around, but it won't, ooh, and I just tore it. 
but it won't cut through the plastic. <laughs> so don't tear yours. <laughs> now I'm going to pull it back over and this time I'm going to use the precision. So I'm going to pick up my mats and I'm going to start again. Difference is I'm not going to use any clear plate or one of the new colored plates. I'm going to take the precision pad. I'm going to turn it so that the writing is face down and this becomes my bottom clear plate. So I don't ever want to use it with the writing face up. I always don't, I want to turn that around so I don't see the writing. I want that metal facing me. And I'm going to grab another piece of shimmer sheet. And because I'm cutting into this, I want the die face down. I want the die to cut into my precision pad. I'm going to put my clear plate on top, or this is my do not cut plate. And you can see I'm going between the really big one that comes with the new machine and the small ones. It's all good. They all work in conjunction together. It's fine to mix and match them. And then I'm going to send it through. Okay, did you hear that? <laughs> it's okay, I promise. <laughs> Keep going, okay? I know it sounded horrible, I know, but wait till you see what it does, and it's okay, all right? So back down we go, and I'm gonna finish. You hear that? It just... <laughs> This is why I am YouTubing this product because I can imagine you getting this at home and you hearing that sound and going, oh my gosh. Okay. So it cracked the shimmer sheet all the way around, but it also cut it <laughs> like a champ. Is that awesome? <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> now, I can tell you that we did it with this die here. Fabulous. <laughs> yes, your intricate dies can now be done without any problem using the precision plate, but it gets better. Okay, it does, it gets better. So let's try again, only this time, and I'm gonna stay with this machine for another, another couple tries. This time I'm going to take a piece of shimmer sheet and a piece of Sukwang tape. Now we all know Sukwang tape is our tape of choice here, our adhesive of choice, because it comes in everything from one eighth of an inch all the way up to six inches. The rule has uh, 77 feet of tape on it. It is economical. It holds everything, glitter and beads and paper and acrylic and plastic and just about everything you want. And you can tear it. It's stronger than red line and you don't have to have scissors handy to cut it. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that on my shimmer sheet. Press it down. And then I am just going to snip off the extras because I don't want it to stick to my, um, my cutting plat uh, platform or my precision plate. So I'm just going to cut off the extras. And I am going to go ahead and I'm using my precision plate. Notice there is no clear plate down here. Your precision plate becomes your bottom clear plate. And I have got all of my tabs here. So if I was using a multi-purpose platform, let's say you have a smaller multi-purpose platform, you can absolutely use it in here. You would keep the platform completely closed and put your precision plate face up or if I was using a magnetic platform, well, let's use the magnetic platform in here. Let's take out the large platforms that come with the machine and let's do the magnetic platform. 
Now, the, this is metal and this is a magnet. What's going to happen? They're going to stick together and that's okay. You want that just instructional side against the platform. You need to see, you need to see the metal side. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put my shimmer sheet, which is a mylar. It's a, it's a mylar plastic. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's by Elizabeth Crafts. It comes from Elizabeth Crafts. Then I am going to put my die down. Yep. And then my do not cut plate. And I'm going to send it on through. And again, it may make a sound that's not so pretty, but it will be okay, I promise. So I'm rolling. Oh, not so bad. So now that I've put the, the uh, soup wing tape on the back, I'm going to do a front roll and a back roll because now I've added thickness to my shimmer sheet by doing that. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to look. Did it cut? And if it hasn't cut, I'm going to go ahead and rotate. So I was here. Now I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees just so I hit all the points of the die. Because every machine has a sweet spot in their roller where it hits every point. Every machine's got their sweet spot. And sometimes you can figure out where your sweet spot is, but if you don't, you just turn your die and you'll be much happier. So through, and then I'm gonna roll it on back. Okay, and let's put this aside. And let me grab it. Okay, so now I can either take my die off and I'm just going to follow the lines of the die itself. And it's not popping right out, but that's because it's got the adhesive on the back. So I'm just going to follow the lines of the die itself and pull it out. And it'll just keep, it'll just go right along the edges of where it of where the die is. So it didn't pop out quite as easy without the souk wing tape, but it means you just have to work it along right along the edges, but it cut it out beautifully. And then what you've got, what you've got is a sticker already ready to go. A sticker ready to be, you take your souk wing right off the back and it is ready to be stuck to whatever it is you want to stick it to. A card, your scrapbook layout, uh, mixed media, altered art, you have made a sticker. Not only were you able to use the shimmer sheet with the new precision plate, we were able to add souk wang to the back using a wafer die and have it cut out beautifully. Now, you need to know your wafer die will slightly bow. It's okay. It's not going to hurt the die. This die has been cut about a million times. <laughs> okay, a little exaggeration there, but, um, but it has been cut probably more times than you will ever cut this die yourself. And yes, it has a little bit of a bow to it, but it's not a problem. If you just want to cut regular paper with it, it's still going to cut perfectly fine. Not an issue at all. The larger dies are not going to bow as much, but because this one is narrow and long, it's getting the bow from going underneath the roller. I don't want you to worry and think you've damaged your die. You haven't. You can still put a piece of paper under here, put it through your plain old big shot machine, run it and put the embossing in it, and it's going to cut just fine. But I do want you to see that so you know to expect it, and it doesn't hurt the dye. But holy smokes are the chokes. Shimmer sheets and souk wang at the same time with a platform that does not warp and does not get cut into. That's awesome. But it gets better. <laughs> Do you want to see better? I was just Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to trade off now and I'm going to go to a standard Big Shot machine because I know a lot of you have the standard Big Shot machine and Big Shot, Big Kick, Vagabond, all the same. It's going to work with all of them. I'm going to pull over my Big Shot machine, which works 
just as well, I'm going to use my magnetic platform with my precision plate. Remember, you want the word, oh, see, and if it, now it's really stuck together, but the words face down. You never want to be cutting with the words face up. If you can read the words, don't stop, it's wrong. <laughs> I'm going to put it right into my Big Shot. You can see it fits just fine. You don't necessarily have to have a Big Shot Plus. However, the Big Shot Plus does apply a little more pressure than this machine because it's this is smaller. That's a little bit bigger and there are some benefits definitely of having that Big Shot Plus machine and doing thicker material. I am going to grab a piece of my... I've got Elizabeth Craft Velvet Paper here and it is self-adhesive. So I don't have to add soup wing to the back, but I've got this beautiful, luxurious velvet paper, and it does, it feels just like velvet. And I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna need a bigger piece, so let's cut off another piece. Okay, so let's cut this down a little bit. All right, so now I've got a beautiful piece of velvet paper. And again, because this has a hardness higher than the die, I'm going to put my velvet piece down and my die on top. I want this die to cut into this plate. And the beauty is it will never actually cut into it and it won't warp. So now let me grab my do not cut plate, which is my watermelon and that's how I know it's my do not cut plate <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send it through just on my standard Big Shot machine and roll it forward roll it back all the little bumps and creaks and all that it's okay Did you see how easy that just popped right out? This is an aha moment. The first time I saw this, I think I, I, I gasped and I jumped and everybody's like, what? Because I, I have to play with this stuff before I'm sure that I like it. And when I was playing with it, I just thought, holy smokes artichokes. Okay, there's your velvet sheet, right? That's what I just cut from, right? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that it left the embossing? Can you see how it did that? It took my dark, my black velvet sheet and it compressed the velvet down so that now the background looks matte and where the embossing feature is on this Kaiser Craft die, which is absolutely amazing, it left it there in the dark black, in a, in a heavier black. Gosh, I hope I can get this on camera. I have one in the pink. Same thing, I started with a basic pink sheet, but then it left, it left the, the darker pink where it didn't compress that velvet down. It still has this amazing feel but oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And you did the embossing without ever doing the embossing. No squishy, no knock knock. <laughs> and it left that embossing there for you. It was an aha moment. I just about had, oh, I, 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 it was amazing. I literally, I gasped and everybody, what, what, what? And I said, you have to see this. So then we, that's why we cut about a million of these because everybody had to do it for themselves to see how wonderful it really is. Fabulous. All done with that precision plate. Makes it so easy. However, if you don't use that precision plate, this is what you get. Trying to cut shimmer sheets with something a little more intricate. And you'll never be able to cut shimmer sheet like this without having that beautiful plate. But it gets better. <laughs> because once you cut 
then you can emboss and you can you can use your embossing folders to do so much with it so let's you know what I'm gonna grab another die I'm gonna grab one of the um, Kaiser craft sets cute little frame set really like it because I like the size that it makes right here and I'm gonna cut a piece of velvet paper with it is it big enough well just by the hair of our chinny chin chin so I'm gonna cut that down so I can cut this and I'm gonna cut it using my precision plate and again this is already backed it's self adhesive so I've got my magnetic platform down and if I didn't have my magnetic platform I would be using my multi-purpose platform completely closed all shims closed then I would put down my precision plate right on top then I'm going to use my velvet sheet from Elizabeth Crafts I'm going to put on my die from Kaiser Craft and it's going to cut it beautifully I do not cut and send it on through oh I know that sounded bad 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 I promise you it's okay keep going keep going it's probably gonna sound bad again right around here yeah a little bit oh okay but I promise <laughs> I do I promise beautiful there's my frame but it gets better <laughs> okay I'm gonna move this machine over because I don't have two cutting plates for it or two clear plates and I'm gonna bring my big shot plus back and I'm going to bring over my well I could no I'm gonna bring over my, my uh, plates that go with this machine so I've got my base plate and I've got my B plate because on my B plate it says that I can do embossing folders any translucent embossing folder doesn't matter who manufactures it if it's translucent and when I say translucent I mean translucent you can kind of see through it not white solid white is going to be a little different if it's solid white that means you're working with a spellbinder or perhaps a seagull these um these are by seagull too but they're translucent and you can see they match i'm going to put that on there and then i'm going to take my velvet sheet and i'm going to put my velvet sheet into my embossing folder Okay, I'm going to put down one of my clear plates. I'm going to put down my embossing folder with my velvet sheet in it. Put on my do not cut plate. And you can see I'm mixing. I've got a large clear plate as my bottom sandwich, but I've got one of the regular standard Big Shot plates as my top. And that's okay. You can mix and match the sizes. It's not a problem. I'm going to send it on through. It's gorgeous. That velvet holds that embossing. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But there's more. Like, yeah, you're going to get tired of me saying that. And I don't have a piece of paper to put this on. So I'm just going to put it on the back of the... It's self-adhesive, remember. So I'm going to peel off. And this is sticky right now. So let's pretend that I have a card and I'm putting this on the card. I'm just going to put it here for now. That I'm making a card or I'm using this as a mat for my scrapbooking. Talk about getting texture and feel into your scrapbooking oh my gosh it's gorgeous but what am I left with I'm left with the piece I peeled off oh yeah you can use this too 
Absolutely. You can, this has got a gloss finish. You can take alcohol inks and start coloring this. You can take your, 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 um, chalks your pan pastels and start coloring this you can leave it just the way it is and put your souk wang tape on the back and this is a whole nother a whole nother embellishment for your card making or your scrapbooking it's the back side <laughs> of the velvet sheet <laughs> it's fabulous <laughs> it's so good Holy smokes. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Disneyland, but if you do the Jungle Cruise, because Disneyland is probably one of my most favorite places in the world. I love going there. I can go through the, the, the bridges when you just walk through Main Gate, and I can leave all my troubles and all my cares behind, and I can just enjoy myself. But if you've ever been on Jungle Cruise, one of their little kitschy little jokes is that you, you know, the eighth wonder of the world, you, you go behind a waterfall and you see the back side of water. <laughs> so here's the back side of the shimmer sheet. I think it's better than the back side of water. It's a whole nother embellishment. Don't throw it away. Use it. You've got the beautiful rich embossing in there. Totally can be done. Can be done with your Big Shot Plus machine. Can be done with your regular Big Shot machine. It's up to you. And to emboss the, the velvet, you don't need to use the precision plate at all. You're just going to put it through like regular paper. Now we also have, let's take this one and we'll cut again. So I'm going to take here. Uh, yeah, we'll do here. And I'm going to cut my little mannequin again. So I'm going to take and put my I've got my base plate, I've got my B plate, I've got my A plate all together. I'm going to take my precision pad with the wording face down so I can't read it. I'm going to take my die and my shimmer sheet and my do not cut plate and put it right on top and I'm going to send it on through. Okay, I know it really doesn't get any better. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're just going to have to get used to that sound and be okay with it. Again, it cracked my shimmer sheet from the force, but that's okay. My dye is going to come out just beautiful. And then what you do with it is up to you. So I've got my die cut, but now I want to put some embossing on it. I can then take my embossing folder, take just the top of the mannequin, put just the top of the mannequin in there so that the, the stand is still hanging out because I don't want to do that. I just want to emboss the dress and send it on through. Take off my A plate because I'm not doing a wafer die, and it does. It shows you. It gives you, it gives you uh, the sandwiches that you need. Just know that if I try to, if I left my A plate there, and I put down my clear plate, let's just say I forgot, and then I put my embossing folder with my die halfway in and halfway out because I just want to emboss the dress, the mannequin form. and my do not cut plate. It's just not gonna let me do anything. It's not gonna go. I'm spinning my wheels and I'm not getting anywhere. That's because this machine, both this and the Big Shot machine have a fell safe proof way to make sure you don't sandwich too high. It just won't let you put it through. It just won't. And if that's the case, then you start with your top shim. Take off your top shim and try again. And if it goes through, great. If you're still having the problem, take off this shim and go down to your base plate. One of these is going to let you go through. So let's put it on back down. Put my do not cut plate over the top. 
and see it goes through just fine and it will go through just fine on your Big Shot machine too. It's adding that embossing and now I've embossed the dress. So you could do this with the shimmer sheet or the velvet sheet. You're going to be able to do it with both. It's so much fun and it just adds, it allows you that, that precision plate allows you to get so many of your detailed wafer dies cut. Okay, I'm gonna pull out another one. Let me see, is it in here? Oh yes it is. All right, I'm gonna cut this. Okay, see how detailed it is? I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna cut it. Oh, but they didn't clean it. Okay, so this is good for me to show you. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to clean it in time to cut it. Okay, you can see that I cut this die with a shimmer sheet. Every time you cut with a shimmer sheet something this detailed, you then have to poke out the pieces. Either go get your Spellbinder tool, there's a new Sizzix tool that's coming in that I can't wait to show you, but you're going to need to clean it. Most often, when if I was just doing paper and using my precision plate, I probably would be able to get three or four cuts out of it before I have to go clean it. But the shimmer sheet is plastic, it's a mylar, and it's thicker than paper and stronger than paper. So you are going to have to go through and clean your wafer dye. I don't have my Spellbinder tool here and I don't have the new Sizzix one yet to play with. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna try and cut it even with the pieces in it, just so you can hear how bad it sounds. <laughs> so you don't freak out. But I do have the sample that we did with this one. I have a card sample using it and I will show that to you. But you don't need to see me sit there and cut this all day long. So let's cut another piece of shimmer sheet. And this is where having the plus machine is a little bit nicer because it is a little bit, it's got a little more pressure. And with something this detailed, which would not normally cut with a shimmer sheet, it will cut beautifully. Let's bring over my platform. And because I'm going back to a wafer die, I need to add in, I need to add in my A, my A platform. So I have my A, B, and C, just like I'm, uh, just like my multi-purpose platform would be completely closed. Then I'm going to put down my precision plate. I'm going to put down my shimmer sheet, my die, and then a clear plate. And you can either use the large one that came with the machine, or you can use one of your small ones from your Big Shot machine and I'm gonna send it through. Okay, you're still with me, right? <laughs> and because of the intricacy, I'm going to send it backwards. I'm gonna send it back, bring it back through, and then I'm going to see if it cut. So I'm gonna lift it up, I'm gonna take it out, and I'm gonna see if it cut through. Well, I can tell you right there it did. But if I was concerned, I could, could, it put, could put it back in and then just kind of rotate it a little bit. Just so all the sweet spots of this die get hit by my rollers and I could send it back through. Now we had a crop last weekend and I had a customer, Paula, Hi, Paula, <laughs> and she had a doily die that she had been trying to cut and cut and cut and she couldn't get it cut. She just couldn't with any amount of shims Nothing was making it cut all the way through every little bit and piece. So I said, well, let's play with the, let's play with the precision plate. She brought her die over, I pulled it out, it cut perfectly every time. She needed a couple of them to finish off what she was doing for crop. She stood there with the Big Shot Plus machine, cut them out, and all of a sudden her die was working. A die that she wasn't able to use before, no matter what she did, no matter how hard she tried, it wouldn't cut. $15.99 made it cut. I'll tell you, I sold a lot of them because of that. Everybody's like, oh! <laughs> 
Now I'm gonna need to pop it out. And it's gonna take a little bit of time because I've got extra little goodies in there from the purple. But you need to put your little tool underneath and get a little hold from it and pop it on out. There we go. Do I got it? Yes. Start pulling it on out. It would be a little easier if I didn't have the little purpley ones in there prior to, but it is what it is. Now I've got blue and purple in there. <laughs> and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna poke all your little bits and pieces out. And again, if I didn't have the purple ones in there when I cut it, if it was a, if the dye was completely clean originally, these would have just fallen out. They would have just fallen out. But you can see how beautiful that is with a shimmer sheet and how detailed this is. It's amazing. And I was, I was really a kind of a stickler about whether it would, would it really cut a shimmer sheet. And, and, you know, David kept saying, give us time, we're working on it, we're gonna make it exactly the way it needs to be. And by George, they did. They did. It's beautiful. I don't know, I just, I was, I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing, how easy it was to get it through. It works a little bit better with the bigger machine because the pressure's a little bit more, but you're going to do fine with your Big Shot machine too. You just are probably going to have to rotate it. And if you're doing just plain paper, plain paper, cardstock, 100 pound cardstock, oh my gosh, it swims through both of these machines like, like there's no current at all. It just, it just sails right through and the paper just, all the little bits and pieces, Paula will attest to this. <laughs> when we did her doily, because we were just using plain paper, we pick it up and all the little bits and pieces, before I could even get it off the platform, were falling out. We're using something heavy. We're using plastic to show you how great the machine is. Paper, sheesh, easy peasy. And again, doesn't cut into the plate, so your plate never warps. Okay. We went over a lot today. This is, this is a, a, a new machine with a new platform that can be used with your old machine, your Big Shot, your Big Kick, your Vagabond. This is a tool. This is a tool that you should have in your arsenal if you do wafer dies. If you do wafer dies and you don't want to be frustrated and you want it to cut every single time, spend the $15.99 and get this. Just get it. You're going to be happy with it. I promise you that. It does what it says it's going to do. And if it does mylar and it does the, the velvet sheets, Oh my gosh, and with the velvet sheets, it leaves that added extra embossing to it. It's just beautiful. And anything else is gonna go through like, like butter because nothing is as hard as plastic. Nothing is, is as tough to cut through as plastic. So your acetate, it's gonna cut your acetate. Oh my gosh, probably will even cut your, um, cut your uh, shrinky dink. Hadn't played with that yet. That's a whole nother thing I need to think about. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this aside. I don't have a lot of samples to show you because I wasn't, it, it, this, this, this YouTube kind of happened because I now know that the precision plates are starting to ship with the, um, with the other transfer pad. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to make samples. I will tell you, if you are a local customer, this is gonna be, uh, uh, the make and take, not this Saturday, which I guess is, what's today, the March 6th? So it's gonna be, I think March 13th or whatever will be the make and take uh, using this. So we kind of reversed them. Usually we do the make and take first and then the YouTube, but we reversed them so you could get your pre-order in on that precision plate. And I do have, you know what, before I get there, let me show off some of the new Kaiser Craft dies because they're beautiful. Kaiser Craft has done a beautiful job and the prices are awesome. Look at how cute is that. And yes, you'll be able to cut your shimmer sheet with it. Look at the cute little banners and the balloons and they've got embossing features and they feel a little bit heavy. Don't forget, there's that magnetic sheet that's hiding in there. 
so that you can store your dies on that magnetic sheet. And if you don't store your dies with the magnetic sheet, get some Sukwang tape, throw some paper down, and cut some stuff and make magnets. Look at the beautiful leaves. They've got the embossing feature so you can emboss, you can stencil. These are some of their brand new ones. And I will tell you, just like the just like the Stampendous dies, we have on some of these dies all there is to have. Specifically, this one and the one I love to cut my mats here and the Flourish. We have all they have. We've got them all. I love the butterfly though. <laughs> got a lot of those too. There's the butterfly and another leaf set. They have a whole bunch of them. This is just a sampling of what they've done. Then the velvet sheets. Elizabeth Craft has them. I want to say we probably have 10 colors of velvet sheets. You get two sheets per pack. They'll be on a YouTube Yummy Cell and they are already self-adhesive. Then we have the shimmer sheets, and I want to say we probably have 18 colors of shimmer sheets. We've got the sampler packs if you want to just start with small packs to try. We've got the full size. Each one of them comes with three sheets each. These give you one of each sheet. I think this is the this is the like the iris set. So you get one of every iris color, and this looks like the metallic set. You get one of every metallic. But if you know already know you love your shimmer sheets, just by the the full set, by the three pack, it's it's a much better value. Okay. And you can emboss on the shimmer sheet. I mean, they're just beautiful. And then of course our precision base plate here. It says not for sale because it was we only had two because they're still on pre-order. And I know it tells you what it's made of. I just can't find where it is. But the hardness, it's harder than the metal of the die, so it will never cut into it. $19.99 regularly, $15.99 on pre-order. And now let's get to some of the samples. And again, I wish I had more for you. But the make and take hasn't been done yet. How cute is that? Isn't that darling? And can you see the light green and the dark green? We didn't emboss it. We just sent it through once with the precision plate. And it matted the green except for where the dye had the embossing feature. We didn't even have to bother embossing it. Yay! <laughs> oh, and this, this came from the Kaiser Craft set that I showed you. That came from there. And then we have the Flourish. And it's on velvet paper. And again, this came from the set that I just showed you. And that is the Flourish and Shimmer Sheet. That is this one right there in Shimmer Sheet. And then we have another mannequin. This is the piece the large square that came out of the one set. And again, it's on the velvet paper and it's been embossed and it holds that embossing. And here we go with the mannequin out of Shimmer Sheet. And then last but not least, there's the purple doily I did. <laughs> and the background is done with the dye and here with a die, and it's just a beautiful card. Poor Yvette, she had a day. <laughs> she had a day, less than a day, to get, to get these all done. <laughs> and she did an awesome job. <laughs> Besides handling the phones and helping customers and everything else, she did an amazing job. So what are we gonna have on YouTube Yummies for you? We're gonna have the shimmer sheets on YouTube Yummies. We're gonna have the velvet sheets on YouTube Yummies. We're going to have all of the Kaiser Craft dies on YouTube Yummies, but I'm gonna to put together a bundle. If you buy the bundle that has the, uh, the frames and the flourish and my mannequin, we're gonna put this on sale for a 30% off bundle. So you have to buy all three of them. We'll put them on sale for just regularly too, but if you buy all three of them, you're gonna save 30%, which is a really nice savings. <laughs> because we're doing it kind of out of order. So we're gonna take 30% off of those three for you. And I think that's about it. I think I'm gonna tilt on up. Oh, do I even have more? 
Oh my gosh, I have so many here. Okay, I'm gonna tilt up. And I'm gonna say, hey everybody, it's me, Stacy. It's Scrapbooking Made Simple. Where are you gonna find all of these great products on sale right now? Some of them you're not gonna find anywhere else because we have them all. You're gonna go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com and you look for the YouTube Yummy, it'll be right at the top of the, uh, of the categories page and you can let your fingers do the shopping. All right, I hope you took notes. I hope you see why we waited to bring in a plate that is supposed to help with your wafer dies. We waited for the best and it was worth the wait. I hope you agree. Thanks, Ellis and Sizzix, for listening and taking my shimmer sheets and making it work. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.